In this video, I want to show you how to use StackCrunch in order to find some normal probabilities or do an inverse lookup on the normal distribution. In order to do this, we don't have to have any data typed into our StatCrunch spreadsheet. All we need to do is access the stat, calculators, and the normal menu, but you can see there's a number of different distributions here that you could do this for. We're concentrating on the normal one, so we'll go ahead and click normal. The normal calculator appears and it shows you a graphic of what the normal distribution looks like and it shows you a shaded region, that's what you're finding the probability for. You have several options, the mean and standard deviation are here. If you're working on a standard normal distribution, you won't change these, so you'll leave the mean at zero and the standard deviation at one. However, if you're working on a different normal distribution, say a normal distribution with a mean of 4.5 and a standard deviation of 3.73, then you would update these. And I'll show you an example of that in a few minutes. For now, we'll just work with the standard normal distribution. So here, if we want to figure out the probability of being less than or equal to a particular number, we'll put the number in here. So let's say we want to find the probability of being less than 2.12. We'll type it in here and click Compute and it shades in the appropriate region above on the graph for us and it gives us an answer here. This is the probability of being less than 2.12. It's 0.982997. Let's say instead we want to find the probability of being greater than a particular value. So we can select greater than and let's say we want to find the probability of being greater than 1.73. We'll type in 1.73 and click compute and it'll give us that greater than probability, 0.04181514, to be precise. Now if you are working with a distribution that's normally distributed with a different mean standard deviation, so a non-standard normal distribution, all you'd have to do is type in the mean. So we used the example before, the mean was 4.5 and the standard deviation was 3.73. And let's say now we want to find the probability of being greater than 5.0. And we'll click Compute. It'll draw a normal distribution with these particular mean and standard deviations. And then it will give us the value for the probability here. So 0 0.4466822. Now we can also use this to do an inverse lookup. So let's say we're given a probability and we want to know the number that generates that probability. So let me close this for a second and open it again. So again, stat calculators normal. And let's just say that we have a standard normal distribution and we want to know um, the particular Z value that gives us a probability of 0.95 below it. So we'll put 0.95 in this box this time, that's where the probability goes, and click Compute, and notice that we get an answer here now, 1.645 approximately when you round it. So you are able to do inverse lookups as well, where you're given a probability and you want to find a particular value for the distribution. We can also do this if we change the mean and standard deviation. So let's go back to that example where our mean was 4.5 and our standard deviation was 3.73. And let's say we want to find the value that gives us 95% of the distribution below it. Click Compute. So type in 0.95 and click Compute. And here you get 10.635. So it actually does everything for you and gives you the X value instead of the Z score since this is a different normal distribution. Gives you the X value that produces this particular graphic where at this point everything shaded in red is 95% of the distribution.